Taurus has been gone for a while. What can you preview about the state of mind he's in when we see him back at an intelligence? Well, he's, you know, he's been taking care of some stuff at home with his mom. And, uh, you know, the, the the last time we saw him wasn't the prettiest, you know, sight. And, and he's he's definitely been realizing that he has uh, some sort of like compulsive patterns of the past that sometimes come come through and 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 he's he's always navigating this thin line with uh controlling those patterns and also uh, unleashing them when they serve you know when they serve him uh so i think that's what he's struggling the most plus you know just taking care of his mom well and how is his mom doing how much is her kind of well-being actively weighing on him when we see him in this episode oh it's weighing a lot uh, she's doing okay. She's doing a lot better, but it, it weighs a lot on him because he's always taken on that paternal role, you know, since he became the man of the house when he was 14 years old. Uh, it's kind of like this dynamic um, between mother and son that they kind of become like a, a couple in a way, like he, you know, he teaches her things and they they have this different relationship. So, so he definitely uh, carries a lot more on his plate than any other uh, normal kid would. Yeah. Well, and it's not like things are exactly easy at work. He's jumping straight into an undercover assignment. What can mm-hmm. you preview about the mess he finds himself in with that particular case? Oh my God. Um so much. It's uh it's one of those things that he gets a case and he says, Okay, I can I can, you know, he knows that he's the man for the job. He has no doubt about that because he can he knows these t- these types of people. He knows the streets he knows you know the dynamics of all of these operations but um he gets caught up in in some of them and uh it's it's one of those things that he just has to like he finds himself in and then he's trying to like see how he navigates it through the inside well, and how are his colleagues reacting to him being undercover and his wanting to go undercover, especially because he has been away for so long? Yeah, well, I would hope that they are um, they are confident that he can do it, but I'm sure there's some, there's doubt, you know, they don't know. They still don't, like, even though I'm, I've been with them for a while, they still don't really know me, you know, I, I'm still, I'm such a... Um, private person in 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 that sense you know in in his private life and and the different type of challenges he he faces in an internal way uh i'm sure there's definitely a little bit of both there's a confidence and there's that that maybe worry or doubt or you know anxiety yeah well the the promos are teasing that uh he meets someone undercover who he thinks he might be able to flip what can you tease about that relationship they're 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 very interesting together because they they've kind of they've they kind of have a lot of similarities to them like you could even call them kindred spirits in a way because uh she um is trying to get out of that life you know and he understands that very well so there's this there's this push and pull with them the entire episode there's this push and pull and they're trying to to, there's a strong connection that they can't let go of you know and 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 um there's a lot of mutual understanding i guess yeah there are some absolutely badass photos of you and yara together what can you say about working with her in this episode oh my god she's great yara is amazing we we had so much fun shooting the episode it was uh easy since the from the beginning you know we were just like you know and also we both speak spanish and we're just like talking you know our own language and uh uh, having fun during takes like sometimes we crack up like in the middle of you know what I mean <laughs> even though it's so we like it's it's good to work I love finding different people to, to work with and understanding their processes and adapting to them you know that's like one of the things that I love uh in, in my career you know I've always like been able to find like okay, this this is the way we can go here and this is the way we can go here even if it's serious moments or if it's very intense moments sometimes you have actors that 
you know, require that intensity the entire time. And sometimes you have actors that the more comfortable they are, the more intense it becomes, you know? So I, I had a lot of fun with Yara. I love her.